These are flowers I cut from Jigby Flower Farm in Kensington. Thanks, Cassie. As you can see, I'm using a lot of flowers in this arrangement. I'm using a pin frog again at the base of this vase, working with these really beautiful peachy orange tulips. They also have this really beautiful lavender tone on the bottom side of the petals. I tend to cluster the same kinds of flowers together in one area to create sort of different sections like in a garden of the same kind of variety. Another variety of tulips going in, they actually have more petals and they're a bit more golden yellow. A few more extra soft light yellow tulips that all kind of group again together in the same area. Two more. Next up, this beautiful fringed tulip. I just want to showcase some of those unique fringed petals. I don't really like that one that was sort of draping really low to the left, so I took it out. This one special stem of ranunculus. Some little bell clusters of daffodils. And I couldn't resist this one special tulip with the dark pink. Because there's so many colors in this arrangement, I had trouble deciding on what color of paper to incorporate. Eventually, I decided on a combination of these two colors. I decided that I wanted to create sort of one big, massive shape using these two colors and just taping it all together. See what I mean? Massive. At this point, it does feel a little unwieldy. And this is when disaster strikes. Danger, emergency. The metal pin frog at the bottom of the vase is completely full of stems and it starts to detach from the vase. The arrangement starts to shift around. I'm trying to push the arrangement back to how it originally was. I'm realizing how much the arrangement has shifted. I'm considering pulling it all apart. Eventually, I decided to just tape the shape to the wall behind the arrangement. Then I added this circular squiggly to finish it. I do like how it turned out, but there were definitely some moments of doubt. Doot, 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 doot.